super fans to this channel will already know I love collecting vintage gadgets. I picked up this beautifully patinaed vacuum tube tester last time I was driving through Mineral Wells, Texas, and uh, I completely overpaid for it, but look how many switches it has! Plus this super accurate panel meter. Now, given the price they were asking, I almost didn't buy it because it's missing a knob, and to find a vintage knob exactly like this one would be totally impossible. But then I figured, hey, project video. So I'm going to be molding the existing knobs in silicone and casting them in a black resin. And I figured while I was at it, I'd pull some of the knobs from the rest of my collection and cast those too, for, you know, future projects. By the way, I'll put more information about what materials I'm using here down in the video description. That's me making that sound. Silicone doesn't actually sound like that. Now, while that's curing, uh, I want to talk about these knobs. And if you couldn't care less about the engineering specifics, go ahead and skip ahead to the time code on screen. But if you enjoy the technical minutia like I do, stick around, because these, these knobs, these, these knobs aren't like other knobs I've seen. Almost all the knobs I've ever worked with, you know, they've got a pretty standard hole in the bottom, they've got a set screw in the side, you slip that down on the shaft, tighten the set screw, holds it in place. These knobs, these knobs have no set screw, and they're on there pretty good. It turns out with a little bit of effort, they pop off of here, and they, oh, uh oh, and they've got this very odd diamond-shaped hole in the bottom, and a little bit of spring metal. That's what holds it in place. Now I figured when I create my replacement, I would just you know cast it from here up, and then I'd uh, well I just drill a standard hole in the bottom, and then drill an extra hole for a set screw, and keep it in place that way problem is the point of this has to line up with the flat of this shaft so it stays pointed in the correct direction which means ideally the set screw would have to go in the front here somewhere and considering the shape of this uh, that might be kind of difficult so I thought hey maybe I'll stay faithful to the original I'll cast both sides of this and after some experimentation I realized that I could take one of these push nuts I've got stick that in the replacement and it doesn't fit perfectly but it fits well enough that it actually holds this in place just as well. But then I discovered these shafts, they're slightly larger than the standard quarter inch shafts I use in most of my projects. And uh, these, these don't fit on here at all, which means any future castings are gonna be pretty much useless to me. Plus, I'm gonna cast a bunch of extras and mail them off to my best friend, Tim Sway, so maybe he can use them in some of his guitars. And if they don't fit on the components he uses either, well, they're gonna be useless to him too. So, I'm back to casting them normally. I'm just going to drill a standard hole in the bottom, and as far as making them work on this gadget, well, I guess I'll just figure that out when I get there. All right, so those of you who skipped ahead, you're going to miss out on all of the inside jokes from now on. Polymerized siloxanes, am I right? Ah, uh, good times. Ah, what? Come on. Ah, love that sound. All right, not too bad. I didn't seal the knobs down to the uh, to the bottom very well, um, so I got some silicone creeping underneath the edges, but um, I'm just gonna trim that off. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. I 
like surgery on a jellyfish. Great, and now I want calamari. A couple of googly eyes, I'd have a Sid and Marty Croft character. Sigmund, you are a rotten sea monster. When dealing with small amounts, I find it easier to dispense the individual parts into small cups first. Otherwise, I end up making a big mess. Sigmund the sea monster and Johnny and Scott are friends. The greatest of friends that ever could be on the land or on the sea. Oh, just made it. And now we wait 90 minutes. I think I'll go pick up some plywood for my next project. And we're back. And some jerk took my cart, took my plywood off the cart, dumped it to the side, and took off with my cart when I wasn't looking. Yeah. Ah, not bad at all. In fact, I can barely tell which is the original. It's this one, I think. Yeah. All right. Oh, hey, huh. fits on this one. That looks great. And I don't even have to do anything else to it. It, it matches perfectly. You can't even tell the difference. And the guy who I know is out there who's saying, no, I can totally tell that one's different. No, you can't, because I moved it down here when you weren't looking. Psych. Now, all I gotta do is clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna leave this nice patina on here, replace these missing screws, maybe find some nice old vacuum tubes to stick in here, add this beauty to my collection. And I've already cast a few more sets of all of these knobs. I'm gonna clean these up, send them off to you know who for you know what, unless you were one of the ones who skipped ahead, then you don't. And if you would like to help support this channel and help me to make more videos like this, follow that Patreon link down in the description. Patrons get exclusive access to behind-the-scenes content, stuff I'm working on, stuff that's coming up, plus extended versions of these videos when they're available. There's already several videos up there, so you can go back and watch all of them if you join now. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Click that like button. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Comment down in the video. Ask me any questions you have. Um, and I should have another video up very soon, so... Stay tuned.